taking place in the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean and run by an experienced race team and a fantastic group of volunteers, the St. Martin Heineken Regatta is welcoming the sailors and spectators to its 39th edition. More than 110 boats from over 22 countries coming together to enjoy a week of serious fun. And here at the Heineken, I think it's all about like have fun, have good parties and really good racing as well. Oh, it's exciting. This is going to be so much fun. I'm just looking forward to getting out there. I have a group of guys, they're all racers, so they're going to show me what to do. So I'm just really excited about it. This year's Heineken Regatta inaugurated the new format with four days. A unique feature of the St. Martin Heineken Regatta is that all classes will finish at the Heineken Mark, close to the famous lifting bridge into the lagoon and the Port de Plaisance marina, where the majority of the boats are moored. All the boats will be lining up to get through the bridge, with the customary celebrations, dancing and fancy dress to entertain the crowds, many with a welcome cold Heineken in hand. Welcome, welcome, welcome to St. Martin! It's the 39th St. Martin Heineken Regatta. We're very happy that you're here. We got a lot of great action. We got a lot of great music. We have some of the best artists from around the world on St. Martin and in the Caribbean. We're very excited that you're here. Thank you all so much for um, coming out here to St. Martin, this beautiful island for the 39th edition of the annual St. Martin Heineken Regatta. We are really looking forward to um, the 39th edition. We have four days of hot racing followed with some really awesome parties at night and um, the four days of racing is new this year um, and we just did that because we want to offer more for the sailors, more racing, more excitement and um, that it's really even more worth it coming here. Before we move to the racing, let's get a taste of how it feels to sail in the Caribbean. Nowhere else can you find that unique blend of sultry Latin culture, postcard-worthy astonishing beaches, world-class sailing, and of course, the gorgeous tropical landscape. I've spent quite a lot of time in the Caribbean, um, generally in St. Martin. Great partying as well, hanging out on the boat hop especially. And I came to the Caribbean mainly for sailing, and Caribbean life's just great really. Pleasure to be here at the regatta. Training went really well, and we're looking forward to the race actually starting, and looking forward to socialising a little bit at the end of each day. But the 39th St. Martin Heineken regatta is not only about racing. The event has once again provided world-class sailboat racing combined with the hottest concerts and after-parties. Concerts held every night at unique and spectacular locations on the island, showcasing great local and international artists. Participating for one more time in this year's St. Martin Heineken Regatta is skipper Jan van den Eind from Team Wannabe. Jan van den Eind won the overall performance of the entire St. Martin Heineken Regatta last year and has participated in 37 St. Martin Heineken Regattas. He's only missed one. Now let's meet Jan van den Eind. For how many years have you been participating in the Regatta? 38 consecutive. Do you have the same crew every year? The last few years have the same crew. What do you enjoy most about this event? Uh, the fact that it's uh, international. Uh, you see boats you, never, you otherwise don't see on St. Martin. It's a big fleet. A lot of different, uh, lot of different people, a lot of different uh, boats. It's very, yeah, very pleasant to, uh, to sail in. Racing or parties? Racing. For many, this race offers the first time to see the whole island from the unique perspective of the sea. For those who have sailed here many times before, they know the excitement of reaching the start. 
the long beat up the channel between St. Martin and Anguilla, and the challenges of the big Atlantic swell and choppy seas past Pelican Rocks before the final leg to the Heineken finish. One of the most interesting classes participating here in the Heineken Regatta is the Maxi class. The Maxi class was divided into Maxi 1 and Maxi 2, with the Vasovi being one of the biggest boats in the divisions. The Vasovi is an 100 foot swan, raced by Tomek Alatowski from Poland. With a completely amateur crew, Tomek races Vasovi at all the major events in the Caribbean. Vasovi is a 30 metre swan, uh, 100 feet that is. She weighs 83 tonnes, built in 2008. The name uh, Varsovy is the Polish word for uh, Warsaw, which is the capital of Poland. She's Polish owned. Maxi 1 and 2 had a total of four races in four days. In Maxi 1, Team Selina was the overall winner with three first places. And in Maxi 2, Team Eliza Vastgoerd had exactly the same performance with three first places. At the same time, bare boat classes 1 and 2 were the most crowded, with 24 boats in total. More fun than serious, the Canadian team from British Columbia, Naughty Canucks, travelled all the way down to St. Martin for the 39th Heineken Regatta there, aiming for four days of racing and fun. The winds were about 15 knots. Uh, we had puffs up to 18, 19. Uh, it's still very comfortable, not too much sea, and uh, obviously nice and warm. It's a, it's a great regatta to come to because well, we're from Canada and it's a little bit cold this time of year. So. We're sailing in the bare boat division and it's, uh, it's pretty competitive, you know. We're, uh, we're not uh, beginners, but uh, we're certainly not pros. And uh, all the, the boats are really close together and it's very, very exciting to sail in this regatta. This is our sixth regatta now and we're going to come back next year. At this year's edition, we also have the offshore multi-hull class. Multi-hulls are a unique kind of boat that combine fast sailing speeds with the comfort of a cosy living room. The St. Martin Heineken Regatta is the ideal event for this kind of boat. Ineffable team did not want to miss the chance to be a part of it. Well, it's uh, incredibly comfortable. It's much bigger than you expect for a trimaran. And we've got a cooker, freezer, we live a normal life. It's like living on the house. It's uh, very amusing to be beating like Maxis, boat for boats, and we're on a, a, a cruising boat. So can you imagine how fun that is? <laughs> it's been four days of awesome sailing, leaving competitors with unforgettable memories of sparkling blue azure seas, sandy white beaches, and windswept ragged rocks. The St. Martin Heineken Regatta delivered on its promise of four days of serious sailing, with upwind legs dousing the crews hiking on the rails with warm water from the waves breaking over them, spectacular champagne sailing with roller coaster downwind legs, and myriad of colourful spinnaker flights flying in the trade winds. The 39th St. Martin Heineken Regatta ended with a magnificent closing ceremony and, of course, with a legendary party at the Port de Plaisance. <laughs> Serious fun is expected next year for the 40th edition of the St. Martin Heineken Regatta. Don't miss it!